It's 12th of January 2021 and as of today Adobe Flash has stopped working. If you have an application running in a corporate environment there may be a way that you can get that working again. Uh, the prerequisites that I found are you need to have a copy of Internet Explorer 11 and you need to make sure that you haven't already applied a uh, hotfix patch that um, removes Flash from it. And I'll put the links to allow you to check that in the description. So what you need to do is to create a file called mms.cfg and it needs to have various items in it which you can see on here but most importantly there is an item called allow list URL pattern which you need to have the website that you want to be permitted. So if we just go to the file, we have CFG here, and you can see that I've permitted adobe.com and port 80. So the format is the URL and then a colon and the port number. So if you just save that, that file then needs to be copied to two locations on your machine. So I'll just show you in here. It needs to go to SysWow64, Macromed Flash and System32 Macromed Flash. Um, this is for a Windows PC. So those are the two locations. So if we just go to there, I've just copied that and go to Flash and just paste it in there that's now in and you need to do the same we've done it for system 32 you need to do it for 64-bit um, version as well here the syswow 64 if you do, then do that and your URL for your website application is listed ours is um, using Oracle Apex and still requires flash in it by putting the URL in there you will then be able to run your um, Flash application even as of 12th of January 2021 when Flash has been stopped. As if you do apply the knowledge base patch from Microsoft um, which is 4577586 then that will remove Flash from your machine and you won't then be able to use um, this fix to be able to um, to view Flash applications. This um, knowledge base um, item removes Flash completely and doesn't allow you to reinstall it. So if you do that you'll be able to use Flash again.